Yo, what's up everybody? Quay Max, aka Quay, aka the Black Charm is for real, aka the guy that look like a bum that's about to ask you for some money. <laughs> Today, we were looking at an SML movie, the DNA test, and the DNA test confirmed that you are not the father. Alright, so we're gonna check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, you already know what to do. You know how this go. And with that being said, let's get it started, started, started. All right, guys, you ready to play superheroes? Oh, yeah, dude, but I'm the Joker. I'm Batman. I want to be Batman. No, Cody, I'm always Batman. You have to be someone else. Be Robin. I don't want to be stupid, stinky, ugly, dumb Robin. <laughs> you got to be a okay, sidekick. Well, go choose someone, but you can't be Batman. Oh, oh, Junior, you have another Batman. We can both be Batman. We both can't be Batman, Cody. There's only one Batman. Yeah, that's against the rules, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's against the rules. Y yeah, we can. I mean, it could be Batman from another universe, though. I mean, that, that worked, too. They did it with Spider-Man. And I look, hey, Batman, it's me, other Batman. No, you're one of those dumb Batmans that work on Times Square. What? Well, okay, Cody, look, we can both be Batman, but you're the uh, you're the Ben Affleck Batman. I'm Christian Bale. Well, I don't want to be Ben Affleck Batman. He was fat. Okay, well, then don't be Batman at all. Go be Mexican Superman. But, Junior, you always make me be Mexican Superman. I Mexican never really Superman got Mexican yeah, Superman. Yeah, Mexican Superman's awesome, dude. He always saves the day right in time to make it to his daughter's quinceanera. Yeah, he's so in awesome. In Spanish. All right, let's get this over with. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm the bad guy, the Joker. You can't beat me. Meeting Batman. Oh, well, you don't understand who I have as my secret weapon. Who? Mexican okay. Superman. Soy el Mexican Superman. <laughs> Soy <Soil. laughs> oh, oh, no, not Mexican Superman with Batman. My two arch nemesis, I'm outnumbered. Yes, and you don't understand what he has up his sleeve. Say it. Hot plate. <gasps> not a hot plate. Oh, no, that's uh -huh. my weakness. Yeah, now hit him with the Baja Blast. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh said, hit him with the Baja Blast. <laughs> Those are good, though. I ain't gonna lie. Them Baja Blast do hit different. What's his next move? The Quesadilla Boomerang? Like, <laughs> all right. And now you better get out of here before he gets the Gordita Crunch. Oh, not the Gordita Crunch! Yay, we saved the day! Hey, all right. You want to watch TV or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's watch TV. Yeah. Missing hey, a sombrero. Have you ever wondered if you were related to someone famous? Well, now you can find out. Just call me at 1 800 Famous DNA Testers. Scam. Com, and I'll personally come to your house and tell you who you're related to. You might even be related to Jeff Bezos. Not, with, not without you wearing that mask, you ain't. You come in my house, we get the testing. The next day, I got Corona, Ebola, and syphilis. Nah, you got to strap up with that mask. For real. Maybe he owes you some money. Maybe maybe you're like a long lost kid of his or something. Come find out. Oh, guys, guys, guys. I want to get DNA tested. Nah. I want to see what famous person I'm related to. I don't know, Junior. That place looks like a scam. Yeah, I want to get tested too. I, I bet I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that'd be so cool. I know, right? I bet I'm related to George Washington Carver. Ooh. Who's that? The guy who invented peanut butter. Duh. Oh, well, why would you be related to him? Because he's smoother than peanut butter. Duh. Yeah, Cody. Who do you think you're related to? A dork? <laughs> Dr. Dork? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Robert E. Dork? <laughs> Professor Dork with a degree? Uh, yeah, yeah, Ulysses S. Dork? <laughs> Captain Dork with the ship? Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk, Musky Dork? <laughs> yeah, Dork Dorky nah. Dorky? Yeah, I Dorky? <laughs> My life as a teenage Dork bot? Yeah. yeah, these are just TV shows. Uh, 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 dork and Josh? <laughs> dork and Josh? Oh, like dorky? oh man, Dorky. <laughs> uh, I'm not, dork's imaginary home for Dorks? Yeah. Uh, uh, what nah, nah, they, they try to lose who I die. Uh -uh. Um, a uh, cat dork, south uh, dork, uh, south dork, uh, family dork. Uh, Most of these missing. Uh, Rick and Dorky. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 dork, uh, dorks. A bunch of dorks. Oh, ooh, ooh, uh, um, I got one. Uh, this, 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 the dork life of of Zach and Dorky. Oh, on deck. On deck. On deck. <laughs> okay, I will get DNA tested just so I can prove I'm not a dork. Oh uh, yeah, let's, let's call a doctor so we get DNA <laughs> Maybe tested. Maybe bully a goody, man. Somebody call a doctor to get DNA. Bro, where's your mask, bro? Mask up, man. I'm not trying to catch no gonorrhea. Super gonorrhea. You know they found a new strand of like a mutated gonorrhea. I'm not trying to get super gonorrhea, bro. Put on the mask. Yeah, we saw the commercial and we want to do the test to see who we're related to. Oh, it's really fun. You never know who you'll be related to. Like I did it and my great grandmother was Amelia Earhart. Really? Yeah, yeah. It explains why I'm so good at hide and seek and so bad at flying planes. So, so, so how do we do it? Well, you see these That's... DNA sample tubes? Yeah. That's well, you just up. take some bodily fluid and put it in the tube. Okay, so like I can spit in it? Yeah, sure. Or whatever else. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, can I poop in it? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. Oh, I know what I'm putting in there. All right, so uh, after we put the stuff in there, then what happens? We're about to shoot his, to his kids. I'll have man. your results by the next scene. Okay, I'm going to spit in mine. Time to poop. Oh, man, guys. 
Man, I hate Cody. I hate Cody, bro. Bro, after after Junior spit in his, Cody is a. Sp <laughs> That show was disgusting, bro. That man Cody just busted a wet night. For the next scene. Okay, I'm gonna spit in mine. Time to poop. Holy oh, uh. guys, I can't wait for our test results to be ready. All right, your test results are ready. They're ready. Disgusting. Are they cool? Oh, they're cool. All right, Cody, we're gonna start with you. Disgusting. The most famous person you're related to is Thomas Edison. Whoa, no way, dude. Oh, that's so sick. Who am I related <laughs> to? You. You're related to Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. <laughs> I knew I knew a lot about space. Whoa, an astronaut, dude. Oh, I know it's so cool. Oh. Okay, Joseph, you're related. Martin Luther King! Oh, oh, oh man, I always knew I had a dream. I dream every night. No, no, no. Nah. Close. <laughs> Osborne Dorsey. Uh, who's that? He's the inventor of the doorknob. Oh, okay. That's kind of yeah. whack. I ain't gonna lie. That's probably the worst one, bro. Bro, I got man on the moon. Bro, I got the inventor of the light bulb. <laughs> Joseph got an inventor of a doorknob. I ain't gonna lie. If I was related to somebody with a doorknob and nobody else famous, <sighs> I'll probably. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's good with you know turning doorknobs. Yep, you have fun with that information. Oh, this is so cool! All right, guys, can we just admit that I'm related to the coolest person ever, Neil Frickin' Armstrong? No, Edison is cooler because he invented the light bulb. Without him, we'd be in the dark right now. No, because if Edison wouldn't have invented it, somebody else would have invented the light bulb. Dude, the only That's way true. you would have been able to get inside your house today is because of my boy Dorsey. Well, no, because then Walmart invented those automatic doors. What? Yes, yeah, so we don't even need doorknobs. We don't even need him. See, 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 see. Neil yes, Armstrong, he discovered the moon. He didn't discover the moon, Junior. He just went there. Yeah, and they say the first person to go on land discovered that land. So he was the first person on the moon. So he discovered the moon. And he got there eh? with his cool spaceship. He flew there. That ain't, that ain't how that worked. out, and then he danced on the moon. Dude, he wouldn't be able to get out of his spaceship. Start moonwalking on the moon or something, bro. I said dancing. What did he do? What did Neil Armstrong do? He got on the moon and, and did the renegade. <laughs> <laughs> without a doorknob. Well, he wouldn't be able to see the doorknob without a light bulb. Well, he, he wouldn't have been able to go to the moon if he would have discovered the moon in the first place. Dude, you use doorknobs for anything. No, no, you use light no? bulbs more because you use them every day. Uh, well, have you ever heard of a candle? Well, 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 well the, the moon lights up the sky at night. So, so because without the moon, it would, uh... It would be. It would be dark. Yeah, without light bulb. No, without the moon. We knew. You see, see, he kind of right. You wouldn't even know it was nighttime until you opened the doorknob. Well, well no, 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 you would. You wouldn't know. Well, actually, there's windows. Joseph's not winning this one. Windows, so you could look out the window. So we don't even need the doorknob. Who cares? But without doorknobs, we wouldn't even have knock knock jokes. Ha, that's better. Well, without light bulbs, you wouldn't even be able to see who's at the door to answer it. Well, without without the moon, you wouldn't know it was nighttime, so you know not to answer the door because not, scary people come at night or fans who don't know the rules. So 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 that. <laughs> yeah, and see, without the moon, we wouldn't have waves. Shade. And without waves, we wouldn't have ships that would bring you materials to make your stupid light bulbs and to make your stupid doorknobs. So, so actually, you know what, Cody? I'm suing you. But why? I'm what? suing you because Thomas Edison got the idea for a light bulb by looking at the moon. Because he went outside and he said, ooh, I like that little light in the sky. Ooh, ooh. Nah, he, he reaching. He reaching, bro. He re and you know what's crazy? Thomas, Thomas Edison never even invented a light bulb, bro. I did, bro. But they don't want to give me no credit. It's all right. Don't worry. I'm going to send them booty bandits at your door. Don't worry about it. Ooh, I, I want to make one for my own. So he made a light bulb based on the moon. So I'm suing you. Yeah, yeah I'm suing you too, Cody, because there's no way Mr. Edison could make his light bulb without opening a door from Mr. Dorsey. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, see, see. So, Cody, you owe Joseph money. Well, actually... <laughs> Joseph, you owe Cody money because because without the light bulb, Dorsey wouldn't have been able to make a doorknob without light. Mm. Nah, 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 nah. We had candles, bro. We had candles. Oh, we, we had, had candles, candles, bro. So, Cody, yeah, you owe both of us money. I'm not giving either of you money. Well, we yeah, don't need you your stupid dumb light bulbs, Cody. Well, okay. I'll just take away all the light bulbs in your house and see how you like it. We don't need them because we have the moon to light up everything. Nobody's going to need doorknobs then. Yeah, we but, don't need that either. Because but if it's daytime. I, I can just push the door open. I don't need a doorknob. That's dumb. I, I like Walmart automatic doors. I'm lazy. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take the moon away. And then what were y'all gonna do when y'all can't see at night? Oh man, this is such a huge mess. You know what's crazy? I literally got those same pots and pans downstairs. Wait, wait what happened to the lights? Oh, it must have been a power outage. Nah. Hey, Chef PP. Wait, C Cody, what are you doing? Uh, do you know if there are any more light bulbs in the house? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you stealing our light bulbs? Oh, I'm not stealing these. I own these. My great great grandfather was Thomas Edison. Look, I don't care who your wait. great grand. That don't even that don't even make sense. A great great grandfather invented TV. So if y'all got a TV in the house, it's not yours anymore. It's mine. All right. I'ma need it in about thirty days, or else I'm coming for them ankles and them cheeks. 
<laughs> father is. Put my light bulbs back! Tell that to Junior. He thinks Thomas Edison didn't do anything. What? Look, put my light bulbs back! And done. I just finished my Apollo 11 Lego sculpture. So I'm just like my great-great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong. What, what happened to the light? Hey, Junior. What are you doing here, Cody? Well, I'm just collecting all of my light bulbs that my great-great-grandfather invented. You just know how that works. Oh, I'm not stealing them. Since my great-great-grandfather invented them, they're mine. Well, well, I was building my Apollo 11 Lego sculpture. See, look, there's me, and there's my great-great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong. See, see, um, I, I didn't see any light bulbs on the Apollo 11. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm going to just take all of these light bulbs back to my house where I'll have all the light. Well, well, when you're walking home, guess what's going to help you light up the streets when you get home? Uh, the moon. Well, there are also street lights, and guess what's in those street lights? Light bulbs. Light bulbs. <laughs> whoa, whoa, you're dumb and, and stupid. Uh, Joseph, get out of my way. Uh, uh, uh. Where do you think you're going? Home. Uh, home? Where? Through this door? You know you gotta use this circular <laughs> thing. What's it called again? A doorknob. Can I please use the doorknob? I guess so. For a thousand dollars, and if you praise my great granddad Dorsey. For a thousand dollars? For a thousand dollars, Blair White better be on the other side of that door. Y'all thought I was gonna say Savannah. Savannah too, yes sir. For a thousand dollars, I better see Savannah and Blair White looking as good as they want to look on the other side of that door. That's real. For a thousand? Really? Well, I don't have a thousand dollars. Well, get an appraisal. Hey, Cody, bring me back my light bulb. Crazy. Oh, now you want them? I thought they were useless. Well, they are useless, but I bought them, so they're technically mine now. Uh, look at that! I forgot one. Hold on. What, no, Cody, don't don't grab that. Don't light. do it. Oh, oh. come on, Cody. Well, well, at least you can't get through this door. Jump through the window. Okay, Junior, I'm going out your window. Well, well, uh, peasant! So, so where are you going now, Cody? I'm going home. Well, the whole walk home, you better not ever look up. If you ever look up at the moon, you owe me $100. Okay, fine. I don't want to look at the moon. What? How did that even work? So every time I look at the moon, I owe you $100. That don't even, that don't even make sense. Hey, if that's the case, I'm going to be looking down like this the whole time walking. Well, just like this. Nah. Uh-uh. Well, I've seen it before. You better not ever look up. Don't look up. I'm not. Don't look up. Junior, I'm not looking at the moon. You better not look up. <sighs> Junior, are you going to follow me all the way home? Yeah, because yeah, I don't want you to look up at the moon because that's my moon. That's my great-grandfather's moon. You can't look at it. Okay. If you look at it, you owe me $100. I'm not going to look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, my God, Cody. Like, if there was a time to look at it, you should look at it now. It's the most beautiful full moon in the world right now. Oh, oh, Cody, look, there's a man on the moon. Junior, there's no man on the moon. <laughs> there was. My great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong, he was on the moon. That was the man on the moon. The only man on the moon. I don't know why he's following him, bro. You better not look at it or you owe me $100. Junior, shut up. It's the most beautiful moon in the world. Like, if you want to look at it, you can... Bro, <laughs> bro, Junior is annoying, bro. Maybe I'm built different, but I've been like, Junior, if you don't shut up, bro, I'm going to give you some dome. Apparently, you must, you want something from me. You, you, you follow me for, for some reason. What you want? You want to kiss? You know what I'm saying? You want to smooch? Pay me $100. I don't care, Junior. Like, this walk home would be so boring if you didn't have the moon right there. That big, beautiful moon brightened up the streets. Junior, I'm not looking at it. it would, you better not look at it. You better not look at it. You're gonna, gonna look at it. Are you sure? It's yes. So, so pretty. Okay, I'll let you look at it one time. No. I'll let you, for free, for free. You can look at it one time. No, I don't even want to now. Look at it for free, like one time. <laughs> no. no. Junior, go away. <laughs> Junior, you broke all my light bulbs. Well, they technically weren't your light bulbs. They were mine because I bought them. Got it off. You owe me so much money now. Well, no, I don't. Just because you invented them doesn't mean that I don't own them if I buy them. Like, I'll sell you a piece of the moon. How about that? No, Junior, I don't care. I don't want to see you right now. Well, no, I'll, I'll sell you one piece of the moon if you stop getting mad. God, I can't stand Junior. Uh, 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 where do you think you're going, Cody? In my house. <laughs> oh, in your house? <laughs> Without the doorknob. You have to use a doorknob? Well, well yeah, but jo Joseph, this is ridiculous. This is my house. But this is my doorknob. Where did he even come from? Doorknob. Okay, fine. I guess I'll use a window. <laughs> Get the climbing. Petty. I'm just gonna sit on my couch with no light. Well, you know what? I do have light. I have the moon, and it's just the the roof is blocking the moon. But I don't need stupid dumb light bulbs. They're dumb. Hey, uh, wait. Why is it so dark in here? Oh, my friend's great great grandfather was uh, uh the inventor of light bulbs, so he took all my light bulbs. Oh yeah, about that. I have an important update about your DNA test results. Uh, can you get your friends back here? I can try, but they're really mad at me. Yeah, uh, just so wrong. you know, there's also a guy who's over by your front door charging people a thousand dollars to use his doorknob. <sighs> That's Joseph. <laughs> Joseph, get up here. Get Cody. What is it, Junior? The doctor says he has to tell us something. What do you want, dude? <sighs> Cody, can we please have a light bulb just while you're here? Okay, but you only get one. <sighs> 
All right, doctor, what'd you have to tell us? Well, uh, it looks like the DNA test results wrong? I gave you before were wrong. Wrong? Wait, I'm not related to Neil Armstrong? No. Well, well, well Cody's not really related to Thomas Edison? Nope. Well, well, Joseph's not related to Dorsey? No. no. Well, then who are we related to? Well, I got your real test results right here. Let's start with Joseph. You are related to Michelangelo. Oh, d I am related to that ugly nigga, bro. I am not. I. This is like a drugged out man turtle, bro. Don't play with me. Dude, that's awesome. I always wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, and I already lived in sewers. <laughs> yeah, and Junior, you are related to Crush from Finding Nemo. I mean, that's still pretty cool. Like, what's up, Jelly Man? What's up, Jelly Man? Hey, Jelly Man. Hey, hey, Jelly Man. And you, Cody, are related to Vern from <laughs> Over the Hedge. Vern. <laughs> oh, that's that tough. Hedge. <laughs> That's an L. That movie. Yeah, you guys, you guys have fun with that information. All right, guys. Do we even have to discuss who's related to the cooler turtle? Dude, it's me. I'm a ninja. No, it's me. He rode the East Australian current. No one else did. Joseph that. got the best one. I went over the hedge. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph got the best one. For sure. Burn the worst one. My name is Burn. Uh, give me my light bulbs back, you oh, dork. God. Alright, all right, Goofy Goobers, that's it for the video. That is SML Movie, the DNA test. And the results came back in negative. Um, This one wasn't really hitting. I ain't gonna lie, this one wasn't really hitting. So I'll probably give it like a four, something like that. Hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Alright, if you did, you already know what to do. Quick, max, take a quick like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out.